Hello everybody, Defense here, and welcome to uh, Butcher Day, Slaughter Day, whatever it is. Uh, we're about halfway through, and we're not going to show you any of the, the, the slaughtering, maybe a little of the butchering over on the table, but uh, we're taking a break, we're halfway through, just finished cleaning, and I thought I'd show you guys what's up. So actually, I just have to shut off a hose real quick, because I think, yep, my bucket's full. Look at that, it even fell out of the pot for me. Fantastic. So <laughs> we'll start off at, um, we should probably start at the chickens, but they're all the way over there. So we're gonna start off right here. So this is where we start. Bring over a couple chickens, we put them in there. These are known as slaughter cones, or some people call them hugging cones because it's like hugging the chicken. Uh, we call them slaughter cones because it's used to slaughter a chicken, so. Stick the chicken in head first, the head sticks out down here. Use that and you do your business. So this is how they sit in there and it makes them calm because they, I don't know, it's some way the chickens work when they're being hugged, they're calm. So yeah, somebody decided let's flip them upside down. You wait till their head falls out and you do your business. Loki comes home from and if we put them in that one, the chicken like thunk and falls to the ground. So that's why we don't use that one. That one's for turkeys. That's pretty much how it works. This one's bigger, it's for turkeys. Um, but we have a couple of big fat chickens. So we'll stick them in there. We have, um, the reason it's for turkeys is if you look, it's a much bigger hole versus that one. And if the chickens are too small, they fall out. And then after that, you come over to this guy here, which is, uh, it, freshly cleaned so it's not too bad uh, it's cold normally it's about 150 and you put the chicken in there for about 45 seconds after it's finished in the cones and it makes it so all the feathery bits come off and then it gets put in here this is so we don't have to pull the feathers by hand it's very nice these are little just like rubber things I'll turn it on for you in a second so you can see bottom there spins around and throws the chicken around and it kind of just does that a bunch and it takes all this stuff off it makes it much easier so we're gonna head over here um if you're not a graphic person or or feel bad for your food um stop watching giving people a break to pause but just letting you know yet that yes we will be showing chicken innards in the next clip if you do not wish to see that, skip forward to about four minutes in the video. So the whole family, well, most of the family comes out uh, and helps out. So that's one chicken. She's pulling the innards out or finishing pulling the innards out. There we go. <laughs> uh, you have to take all the stuff out of the bird. We're not going to show you the whole process, but uh, that's right there. There's some innards for you. That's everything. Except for, there's usually like one piece that gets stuck up in the top. Lung. Lung, that's the one you have to pull out. So, but yeah, that's my sister, my older sister. That's my ma. That's my brother. And my old man just went that way. So, you don't get to see him. But after this table, they get to go in here. And this is so you get all the blood out of them and cool them down. So they come in here. Do we have one in here? Ooh, that's really cold. Uh, nope. No. <laughs> Nobody's in there. Oh, I forgot how cold that gets. But yeah, you rinse them out, you shake them around a bunch in there, and it gets all the blood out, and then you put it in here to cool it down even more. And then this one is where they sit. And we're actually gonna be breaking these ones down. So we're gonna be, so normally, uh, the last couple of times we've done this, we've kept them whole. But this time we're gonna be cutting, um, as I said, breaking them down. So we're gonna be chopping off the wings, setting them in a bag. The legs in a bag, uh, breasts, stuff like that, just fully breaking down the birds, which will be uh, different. We haven't done it before. And something else we haven't done before is quail. I've talked about it in Discord, uh, which is linked down below if you guys want to check it out. But uh, we're going to do three quail today, I think. Yeah. That's at least the plan. Well, there's only three in here. Yeah, the Fourth other one's, one's loose. In the barn. Oh, okay. Well, the other one's running around, so. Yeah. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick walkthrough on what kind of goes on with this stuff. And we're getting set for round two. So I need to stop filming and uh, get things going. 
Well, actually, since I do have a bit more time, I'll show you the leg, the, the legs, the egg layers. <laughs> so these are the chickens that lay our eggs. Uh, there's turkeys in the background. We'll get to them in a minute. But uh, yeah, they're doing good. I feel bad for this little white one in front. They're plucking the heck out of her head. And they're being mean to her. Yeah, you guys are being mean. But yeah, so that was the chickens. There's a little sand pit in each of the corners. That's for them to take baths, like dust baths, because that's how they do stuff. And then here we have the Velociraptor containment. Anytime you come over here, they think that you're gonna you're gonna feed them, so they come run into the door. Cause that's the barn, that's where the food's the food's at. And they're mad at us. We uh trimmed some wings so they wouldn't uh fly out. And then goats. They're really just here. It's a goat. And that's a little bit of a tour. So if you guys want to know more about any of this stuff, let me know. We also have the garden to my right over there. Um, we didn't really do much this year. Just peppers, tomatoes, more peppers, garlic, more tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, grape tomatoes. We didn't do corn this year. It gets eaten by the squirrels too much. But this here is the chickens. They seem really eager to get out. I don't think they know where they're going. But uh, these are the chicken tractors. That's uh, the one we just finished emptying right here. And they fold up real nice. Um, the only problem with these ones, so you can actually get these on Amazon. Um, I don't actually remember who made them. We got them a couple years ago. The only issue with them is this section right here. You can see it kind of swells when it gets wet. So when it's caused a few issues, it's peeling like right here. But they're nice. They're lightweight. They're easy to move. They fold up, as I said. So it's actually this one. It's pretty much folded up. And that's pretty much just a really big, like, briefcase. And it does normally lock down. We don't have the locks on it right now. Um, they actually lock on the side as well. So they're pretty nice. But yeah, as I said, we're getting ready to do batch number two. So once my water's boiling, I'm gonna get going. So it's actually been a couple of weeks since that last recording. Uh, completely forgot to do an outro for this video, so I'm doing it now. Yeah, I know it's a couple, it's a little late, but the upside is we get to see the new chickens that are gonna be in the next batch. We're doing a smaller one this time. We're only doing eight. So you guys will be able to see them when they're smaller. See if they're gonna try and run away. Yeah. So you can see they're all starting to grow feathers in right now. We'll open the top up so you can see them a bit better. I gotta keep it low because these ones have been very jumpy and I don't feel like chasing chickens around the yard right now. So um, you can see they dig in the grass. We move this every day. So we'll be, Alex will be moving this just in a little bit. Actually, you know what? I'll move it right now so you guys can see what it's like. It's really easy. You just walk up here, grab the handle. Well, forgot one part, hold on. Got to pull the stuff out, like so. Grab the handle. And slide it forward till you're on the new grass. And boom, done. Make sure nobody's feet are stuck. And you see, they get very happy. They start eating the new grass right away. And that's pretty much all you have to do. So as I said, these things are nice. People make very big ones. Um, you see big A-frame ones and stuff like that. You know, I just got poked. But ours are kind of small. We don't need anything big. We have a decent size yard, but nothing crazy. But I'm going to get this cleaned up and set back up. I'm going to move the other one forward because we have the other one right there. And then this one's right here. So we'll move it on up and we'll be good to go. So I just wanted to throw together a little outro there. If you guys did enjoy, let me know. Uh, by hitting the like button and if you have any questions um, ask in the comments I will answer them to the best of my ability so as I said thank you for stopping in I hope you did enjoy and hope you have a nice night day morning evening whatever it is wherever you are this is my defense I hope to see you again soon
Peace.